Hello and welcome to Daily Current Affairs by Neo IAS. Today is 25th April 2019 and the topic today we are going to discuss is Global Alliance for Vaccines and Immunization, Gavi, Echidna, Investor Education and Protection Fund, NABARD and NHB, Map Aided Program we are continuing with the marginal C's around the world and the previous year question revision series. So the first topic is Global Alliance for Vaccines and Immunization, Gavi. This is in news because uh, the Gavi, that's a global uh, alliance for vaccines and immunization, they have a medical drawn delivery network. So this landed, they took a flight in Ghana, that is why it is in news. So this is basically a coalition. The Gavi is a coalition of a uh, of the public and the private partners. What they are doing is they are tra tra uh, trying to uh, bring the poor countries under the immunization program. Okay, so wherever the immunization program is not active, is not reachable, is not accessible, they take their drawn delivery network service there and provide immunization. Okay, it includes the national uh, governments, then the international organizations like UNICEF or uh, WHO or World Bank and also the philanthropic uh, institutions like uh, uh, Bill and Melinda Gates Children's Vaccine Program or uh, the Rockefeller Foundation etc. So this alliance was formed in 2000, the, the year 2000 in Davos, Davos is in Switzerland, okay. And uh, they, they only support the poorest countries, okay, where uh, the, the GNI, the gross national income is below 1500 US dollars, okay. That is according to the World Bank data and uh, they does not uh, support India, but it includes Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal and Myanmar. The Global Fund for Children's Vaccine, that's a financial uh, independent mechanism that has been designed by Gavi partners. Okay, that, is mean, uh, that means they are uh, raising new resources for immunization and um, uh, in order to uh, uh, improve the health system in the developing countries. Okay, and the major vaccine preventable disease in the world uh, is taken in the decreasing order of cases. That is how they target the countries. Okay, and uh, this time the location is Ghana. Ghana is a country in West Africa. So, it is uh, along the Gulf of Guinea and Atlantic Ocean and it is surrounded by uh, Ivory Coast, uh, Burkina Faso, Togo and as I said Gulf of Guinea and Atlantic Ocean. The capital is Accra. So, I will show you the picture. This is Ghana and you can see towards the south there is uh, Gulf of Guinea. Then the countries like Ivory Coast, Burkina Faso, uh, Togo is uh, surrounding it. Okay, and the capital is Accra. The Lake Volta is within Ghana. Okay, coming to the next topic that is Echidna. It is a very interesting topic. So, this is in news because uh, the scientist of CSIR CCMP. CCMP is uh, the Cellular and Molecular Biology Center. So, it is a, it is a sub-center uh, under a CSIR. So, what they did is they isolated this uh, protein from the milk of echidna. That is a microbial, antimicrobial protein that is found in the milk of echidna. Uh, and this is like a, a antibiotic which can be used on livestock. So, basically this um, echidna is an egg laying mammal and they also feed their children with milk. Okay, so that is why this particular protein from the milk is extracted in order to uh, research and find the uh, properties of uh, this antimicrobial protein and they found that this antibiotic can be used on livestock. Okay, there is a rise of super bug in uh, uh, due to the use of antibiotics uh, by animal husbandry industry. They are doing this in order to raise the livestock. So, these super bugs, they can cause a infection of mammary glands in dairy animals that is called as mastitis. Okay, and echidna, how echidna helps is that echidna's uh, young hatch, they feed on the mother's milk, but, but the, the mammary glands of echidna, they doesn't have any nipples. So, the young ones, they are forced to lick milk from the mother's body surface. So, uh, licking from mother's body surface means it will be more vulnerable, vulnerable to microorganisms. So, this is a natural protection of that milk, that uh, the milk of echidna, that it has a protein that can puncture the cell membrane of uh, the bacterial species attacking them and they will destroy the source of infection. That property is being used by scientists here. Okay, so echidnas, they are uh, monotremous, uh, monotremous, that is, the, they are uh, 
only mammal that lay egg as well as they feed their babies with milk. Okay, they are found in Australia and New Guinea, only in Australia and New Guinea and they are also called as spiny anteaters. It's world's oldest, one of the oldest surviving mammals. Okay, and they have this biggest frontal cortex in relation to their body size. See, it, it has this uh, biggest uh, among all the mammals including humans. Okay, this, I have a picture of uh, echidna, this is echidna. Okay. So, they can uh, climb, burrow, run, they are very solitary animals, they are egg laying, uh, they are, the young ones are found uh, puggling in the mother's pouch and they can live in different environment, even in desert and in snow they can survive. So, they have this uh, much lower body temperature than all other mammals, okay. And, um, and the major threats are like land clear, uh, clearing and habitat loss is a threat. Then uh, the feral cats. And the, th uh, the traffic, it is another, then the climate change is a threat and the snakes also pose a large threat to uh, echidnas. So, the conservation status is least concern. Okay. Coming to the next topic, that's the Investor Education and Protection Fund. So, this is a news because uh, a Kolkata based uh, company, uh, they transfer their unpaid deposits to this particular inv invest, uh, investor education and protection fund. So, this fund it, uh, is a uh, fund that promote uh, investor awareness and protection. Uh, they, are, they works uh, for the interest of investors. It is under the Ministry of Corporate Affairs. So, the government of India, they started this in 2016 under Companies Act. Okay, the authority that is entrusted with the responsibility uh, of the administration of IEPF, they make uh, refunds, they uh, have uh, the responsibility of administration, they make refunds, they claim uh, unclaimed dividends and they also take this mature deposits etc. to investors and they promote awareness among investors. So, they are like a uh, they, uh, hoxai, they, they check everything that the investor is not getting cheated. Okay, how does it work? It uh, what is uh, What it do is the unclaimed dividend or the refunded application money or the mature deposit uh, they are been, uh, which are not claimed within 7 years is been taken by IEPF. Okay, to decide what proportion of the money get used, utilized, where the IPF is monitored is done by a trust. So, a trust is been given the authority to monitor IEPF. The trust has been given the authority under uh, this Companies Act and the Ministry of Corporate Affairs. They maintain a consolidated abstract of all the receipts being uh, done through IEPF. Okay, so investors can't recover the unclaimed money, but they can view the uh, the amount uh, through this website. And it is also possible to claim unpaid amount from the company before it gets credited to IEPF. Once credited, you can't. Okay. That's not a very important news, but IEPF is a very important institution which you have to keep in, it's a, it's a fund you have to keep in mind. Okay, it comes under Ministry of Corporate Affairs, that's a very important uh, point and how it works, it, it, it usually takes unclaimed money or matured deposits, that's also you have to keep in mind. The next topic is NABAD and NHP, it is in news because uh, the RB has divested uh, the the entire stake they have in NABAD and NHB. Now, uh, in NABAD and NHB is uh, under Government of India. 100% stake is with Government of India. Okay, so they had it, uh, they, uh, RBI did this disvestment uh, uh, on the recommendation of Narasimhan Committee 2. Okay, and NABAD, NABAD is concerned with agriculture and rural development. It's an apex development financial institution regarding the, the agricultural credits and economic activities in rural India. So, uh, it is like everything regarding the, uh, the agriculture like policy, planning, operation, uh, everything regarding the credit of agriculture is uh, being uh, looked after by uh, NABAD and it's, uh, it's uh, its main aim is uh, financial inclusion. Okay, so this was started in 1982. What they did is they, uh, the RBA transferred the agricultural 
credit functions of RBI and also there was another institution called as ARDC that is the Agricultural Refinance and Development Cooperation. So, they uh, merged the Agricultural Credit Function of RBI and ARDC in order to form NABARD. Okay, and the committee to review the arrangements for this institutional credit uh, is called as the CRAFI card. It is the committee to review uh, arrangement for uh, institutional credit for agriculture and rural development. It is called as CRAFI card. It is under B. Shivaraman committee. Okay, and it is fully owned by government of India today. And the headquarters is in Mumbai. And talking about National uh, Housing Bank, it is again the apex level institution for housing finance. So, it is like a principal agency, they promote housing finance institution at local level, also at regional level. Okay, it, it provide the financial support uh, for all the, the organization concerned with national housing. Okay, and uh, they regulate the housing finance, uh, finance companies, they keep surveillance of on-site and off-site mechanisms, they, they coordinate all the regulators. Okay. So, that is all. Now, coming to the map aided program, we have another uh, marginal sea, Adriatic Sea. So, Adriatic Sea, it is uh, uh, separating Italian Peninsula and the Balkan Peninsula. So, it is a northernmost arm of the Mediterranean Sea uh, and it is uh, extending from the Strait of Otrando to uh, the Northwest and Po Valley. Strait of Otrando, I have already discussed while discussing the tra uh, Straits of the World. It connects to Ionian Sea and uh, the countries that are on Adriatic Sea, I will show you the picture first. So, this is Adriatic Sea. So, uh, the countries that is uh, opening to Adriatic Sea are Italy, then uh, you have Albania, then you have Montenegro, Bosnia, Croatia, and uh, Slovenia, okay. So, you can see Ionian Sea is towards the down and you can also see Tyrrhenian Sea, okay. This is Adriatic Sea, fine. Next is the PQRS, I will read out the question which of the following is the chief characteristics of mixed farming. Cultivation of both cash crops and food crops, no, right. So, cultivation of two or more crops in the same field, no. Rearing of animals and cultivation of crops together, that is the right answer. So, rearing of animals and cultivation of crops together is uh, called as uh, mixed farming in Indian context. Okay, the livestock production like uh, bovine stock, cattle and buffaloes with uh, along with agriculture, both are integrated uh, while mixed farming. Okay, so the answer is C. That is rearing of animals and cultivation of crops together. So, that is all for today guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you so much. Good night.